The next thing that we have is balancing equations. Now, that is usually a challenging topic for many students, although it doesn't have to be. The key to balancing equations is ratios. If you work with ratios, you cannot go wrong. That is the first thing. Always work in ratios. This is your main rule. Hai. But there are some other options or some other principles that you can follow that will make things easier for you. Another principle that we have is that if it is ionic, then you balance the ions. And if it is covalent, then you balance the atoms. So just having that perspective helps. If it's ionic compound, then you have to balance the ions and atoms. छोड़ देना मतलब अगर आपके पास SO4 है किसी चीज में तो आप S और O को अलग-अलग लेदा ट्रीट नहीं करें यू ट्रीट इट एज वन थिंग SO4 सल्फेट आयन दैट्स द की बट अगर आपके पास SO2 है तो दैट इज मॉलिक्यूलर कोवेलेंट बॉन्डिंग है तो उसको S को अलग-अलग बैलेंस करें O को अलग-अलग बैलेंस करें यू विल बी फाइन द थर्ड टेक्निक दैट वी हैव इन दिस इज कि अगर आपके पास कोई भी ऐसा रिएक्शन है इन व्हिच यू हैव water or you have ammonium or you have carbonate then you should know how these things break down how do these three things break down so water sometimes breaks down to make h positive and oh negative so agar kabhi water ionic reaction mein aa jaye to aapko ye zehn mein hona chahiye ki ha water mein ek h ion hota hai aur ek oh ion hota hai you can think of water as two ways either you can think of it oh it has two hydrogen and one oxygen and that will work for you but in some cases it is hope it is better to think of water as one h and one oh so ab ye na soche depending on the case ke isme do h hai nahi aap soche isme ek h positive hai aur ek oh negative hai i will show you which examples will work with this case and which examples will work with this case but agar aap ratios mein deal kar rahe hain aur aap isko ignore bhi karte hain you'll still be fine this is something you have to follow anything else is just there to help you do it faster but this is the key golden rule that you have to follow here similarly ammonium breaks down to make h positive and ammonia gas so this is ammonium and this is ammonia similarly this one is carbonate it breaks down to give us oxide ion plus carbon dioxide ye itna zyada hamare syllabus mein nahi aata hai but these two are pretty common the fourth rule which i will highly recommend that you follow is the order so order should be any element first then hydrogen then oxygen this is the order that i would recommend that you balance things so pehle aap har cheez ko balance kar le phir aap hydrogen ko balance kare phir aap oxygen ko balance kare in very rare cases i mean main aapko ek equation aise dikhaunga jahan pe ye rule follow nahi hoga jahan pe ratios to chalega लेकिन ये रूल आपके लिए इतना यूजफुल नहीं होगा आई विल शो यू वन सच केस बट इन जनरल दिस विल वर्क सो हेयर्स द थिंग बैलेंसिंग इक्वेशन इज अ टेक्निक यू लर्न इट वंस इन योर लाइफ एंड यू आर गुड और वो वंस इन लाइफ के लिए यू विल हैव टू प्रैक्टिस आई विल सेंड अ वर्कशीट विद लाइक हंड्रेड मोर देन अ हंड्रेड इक्वेश यू डोंट हैव टू डू ऑल ऑफ दम डू इनफ डू टू दी एक्सटेंट के जिस दिन आप इक्वेशन करो और आपको नजर आए कि हाँ ये तो बैलेंस करना मेरे लिए प्रॉब्लम नहीं है या आपको प्रिंसिपल आ गया तो उसके बाद आपने वो प्रैक्टिस करने की जरूरत नहीं है इट्स काइंड ऑफ लाइक मैथ कि पूरी एक्सरसाइज करने की जरूरत नहीं होती यू जस्ट डू इनफ क्वेश्चन कि आपको उस चीज पे कॉन्फिडेंस आ जाए कॉन्फिडेंस इज की सो द रेशोज प्रिंसिपल विल वर्क द रेस्ट ऑफ इट इज अगर चलता है तो चले नहीं चलता मूव ऑन फाइंड समथिंग but this will always work so i'm going to show you some examples and then hopefully things will clarify okay so let's start with this one okay so in this case we have carbon hydrogen oxygen so what i'll do is i will first balance carbon because i want to do any element first then hydrogen then oxygen so i have two carbon on the left one on the right so the ratio is 2 to 1 so i will simply write 2 to 1 here that's it 2 acha ab hydrogen ko balance karte hain i have 6 hydrogen on the left 2 on the right so the ratio will become 6 over 2 6 there 2 here 6 over 2 that is 3 so i will put 3 here hydrogen is balanced now oxygen i have 2 oxygen on the left 
how many hair? Two times two, four hair. Three times one, three hair. Total seven. On the right side, I have seven oxygen. Unme se koi oxygen idhar nahi hai. Sare oxygen isi mein. So the ratio will become seven over there and two here to seven over two. So I can simply write seven over two and I'm done. Now you might be like, where will we get seven over two oxygen molecules? You're right. Oxygen exists as molecules, but we will get seven over two moles of oxygen. And that is fine because these numbers are mole ratios. They're not actual molecules all the time. They are mole ratios. So seven over two, or 3.5 is a perfectly good number to put here. And CIE accepts it. CIE accepts this, that yes, you can write 3.5 here, and that's perfectly fine. But let's say, for whatever reason, you're not comfortable with it. You're like, I haven't seen this before. And in my school, they say that you have whole numbers. So what do we do in that case? So what you do here is if you're done up till this point, then you just double the whole thing. Every double kar do. Isko two se multiply karenge, ye two ban jayega. Seven over two ko multiply karenge two se, ye two cancel ho jayega. Seven reh jayega. Usko two se multiply karenge, we'll get four. And usko two se multiply karenge, we'll get six. And we're done. Equation balanced without any problem. Let's try one more. So we'll start with SN, tin. Tin is balanced. Okay. Then we'll do hydrogen. There's two hydrogen on the left, one, two on the right. It is also balanced. Now we'll do oxygen. Two on the left, one on the right. So the ratio becomes two over one. Two. Now there's a problem with this because now hydrogen is not balanced. There's two hydrogen on the left and four on the right. And that's not really a problem. And now that Sometimes this order will not work. You'll have to go back and that's perfectly fine. So now we have two times two, four hydrogen on the right side, two on the left side. So ratio becomes four over two, two. And now you can see that it is balanced equation. So always work one by one on anything and work in ratios. Don't forget that ratios are the key. Let me show you something which is actually tough. This is a question it's a tough equation. Let's try to balance this one. Is my problem care? Is my Marpasi oxygen split or and we have hydrogen either three or the two. It's a problem, right? But not a problem that we cannot solve. Okay, so let's try it. There are two ways to solve it. First way is what we call the even odd rule. Agar aapke paas odd number hai ek side pe aur ek side pe even number hai to aapne saron ko even banane ki koshish karni hai try to make it even first so how do you make this even multiply by 2 so now how many nitrogen do you have two nitrogen so i'll put two here hydrogen kitne hai mere paas six so six hai idhar two idhar hai six over two three so even odd rule ke mutabik you put an e odd number ko even bana diya or either be odd co or oh sorry, even here, and that is perfectly fine. Wo even hi okay, so now we have balanced hydrogen and nitrogen, but we are not done yet. We still have oxygen. Now let's see two oxygen here, three oxygen here, total okay, five. Or is there two? So ratio one five over two. And okay, five over two. Okay. Now, what do you do? Agar aapko, if you're satisfied with it, you can leave it as it is. Examiner will accept it. Examiner is koi aapko marks nahi kaatega. You will get the credit. But again, school ke teachers aksar ye cheez accept nahi karte. So what do we do? You can simply just double the whole thing. So isko double karenge ye 4 ban jayega. Isko double karenge ye 5 ban jayega. Isko double karenge ye 4 hai. Isko double karenge ye 6 hai. Done. And this rule is not just chemistry, it is true for all the subjects. Again, chemistry, math, physics, add maths, do char subjects may parata, uska to mapko guarantee. Or ye rule up sunke heran rating. 
the rule is if a student has given a correct answer and cut it out then as long as examiner can read it they will get the marks let's suppose ek jagah pe answer tha nacl aapne nacl likha but then you're like nahi 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 shayad ye nahi hai you cut it out but you cut it out like this aapne usko aise kaata ki wo nazar aaye aise nahi kaata if you did this and examiner sees it aur ye sahi answer hai you will get the marks but if you did this examiner ko to kuch pata nahi lagta you will not get the mark now if you wrote the correct answer but usko aapne kaata aur fir aapne likh diya oh yahan pe to calcium chloride aana chahiye let's suppose any cl was correct answer this was wrong answer tab aapke marks nahi milenge because tab aapne new answer likh diya hai okay so the rule is simple you write something as long as you have not overwritten it examiner will count it wo kaati hui hai ya wo nahi kaati hui examiner usko count karega lekin agar aapne kuch extra likh diya hai to examiner usko bhi dekhega aur phir examiner choose nahi karega wo kahega ki jo bachche ne final diya hai wo hi hai okay so the point is agar aap kuch bhi likhte hain soch ke likhein agar kuch kaatte hain koi masla nahi hai kaat dein lekin uske upar override karte hue phir dobara soch le that's the whole point of this ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन एक और एग्जांपल करते हैं इसकी दिस एग्जांपल माइट बी यूजफुल लेट्स ट्राई इट नाउ एज यू कैन सी देयर आर टू मेनी आइटम्स एंड आयंस हियर बट एज आई टोल्ड यू इफ इट इज आयनिक ट्रीट द आयंस डोंट लुक एट एटम्स एट लुक एट आयंस मतलब एटम्स को अगर आप देखते हो ऑक्सीजन इधर भी है इधर भी है मुश्किल हो जाएगा डोंट डू दैट लुक एट द आयंस एंड यू विल सी कितना आसान होता है we have ammonium ion we have phosphate ion we have lead ion we have nitrate ion so let's balance one by one we have three ammonium ions here ye cheez badi zaruri hai please pay attention agar ye four uske part hai to aapne usko count nahi karna hai this thing is one this is ammonium this is not n this is not h4 it is one whole thing ammonium there are three of those So, तीन अमोनियम है यहां पे एंड यहां पे एक अमोनियम है अगेन आई एम नॉट सेइंग कि ये नाइट्रोजन है ये फोर हाइड्रोजन नो इट इज वन अमोनियम इट इज वन होल थिंग ओवर हेयर आई हैव थ्री ओवर हेयर आई हैव वन रेशो बनेगी थ्री ओवर वन आई राइट थ्री ओके अब देखते हैं आगे पीओ फोर इधर एक है पीओ फोर इधर फोर पीओ फोर है तो रेशो बनी फोर ओवर वन अब सोचो अगर मैं ऑक्सीजन को लेदा करता मेरे लिए कितना मुश्किल हो रहा बट फॉस्फेट देखा है इट्स गुड नाउ दिस डिस्टर्ब्स दी अमोनियम दैट आई हैव नाउ आई हैव ट्वेल्व अमोनियम आई डोंट हैव वन अमोनियम सो मैं दोबारा इसको देखूंगा एंड नाउ आई हैव ट्वेल्व ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड यहां पे ट्वेल्व अमोनियम है यहां पे वन अमोनियम है दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू शुड सी इट एज वन अमोनियम इट इज नॉट एन एच फोर एंड फोर सेपरेट एंड वन सेपरेट नो दिस इज वन होल थिंग वन अमोनियम ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड यू हैव ट्वेल्व on the right side you have 1 12 over 1 12 okay so ammonium is balanced phosphate is balanced okay moving on lead one lead three leads so i'll multiply it with 3 over 1 3 here now nitrate three times four again there is four of this thing four nitrate so four times three 12 or 12 times one 12 so the equation is balanced now i'll give you one more equation where things split up let's say i have this so in this case again pehle koi bhi element then hydrogen then oxygen so we have carbon we'll balance carbon first two on the left side one on the right side 2 over 1 so i'll write 2 hydrogen count all the hydrogen here because it's covalent you count the atoms so 5 plus 1 6 hydrogen on this side 2 hydrogen 6 2 ratio is 6 over 2 3 now oxygen there 2 times 2 4 oxygen hai 3 times 1 3 oxygen hai टोटल हो गया सेवन ऑन द राइट साइड आई हैव सेवन ऑक्सीजन हाउ बट ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड अब जरा गौर कीजिएगा आई हैव सेवन हेयर आप देखो उन सेवन में से कोई स्प्लिट हुए मैं यस यू सी इट हेयर उन सेवन में से एक इधर है तो बाकी सिक्स यहां पे करने हैं आपने बैलेंस वन इज ऑलरेडी देयर सो सेवन में से एक तो बैलेंस हो गया द रिमेनिंग सिक्स बैलेंस है सो सिक्स ओवर टू 
three and you're good to go. And these are all the different cases that you will see in your exam. Koi iske lava is complicated situation mein nahi And yeah, good luck.